Hey guys, okay, so I'm back with another video, and in this video, I'm going to try to upgrade the ThinkPad X131E uh, Lenovo laptop, netbook, whatever you want to call it, um, with some additional RAM, with some additional 4 gigs of RAM. So I saw another YouTube video uh, where a guy was opening up one. I'm hoping that this is going to be similar because this is a new edition or newer edition, um, which was only manufactured, I think, uh, last year, uh, 2015. So uh, hopefully this video will end up good and end up working properly and uh, I'm not in my office area where I do a lot of my tinkering around with um, so please bear with the amateur footage. So the ThinkPad at the underneath I of course it's always recommended that you take out the battery so at least that there's not you know a lot of current flowing or anything through these systems any system for that matter just it's better to be safe than sorry um and this if i hope that the camera could see it but there are three screws which uh at, uh, at the underneath of the laptop and uh, that i assume is what is going to allow us to be able to access ram etc uh, this is the first time I'm actually opening up and it's live. I haven't opened this thing up before. And so let's hope that all is well. Oh, it already popped out there when I opened just one of the screws. Um, I saw another YouTube video guy uh, opening up these and it looked really, really easy. I mean, comparing it to what... Uh, to other laptops out there, like what the Dell does, the Dell has everything. You have to take out all the motherboard and stuff just to get to it. Um, doesn't seem that like that's how this is. So let's see. Okay, so it easily came out. wasn't really hard. So that's 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 awesome. I mean. Man, I could just stop buying. The only reason I buy Dell is because of the, the Dell support. Now, this looks like crucial RAM, but it isn't. This is actually a 4 gig stick that I took from another Lenovo, uh, from the Tiny, when I upgraded it to 8 gigs. And the problem was is that I bought... Well, it was a problem, but now it isn't because I bought two 4 gig sticks to work in the, Leno uh, in the Lenovo Tiny, but the, and the Tiny ended up only having one slot, so I had to buy an 8 gig stick to put in there and so I took all the four gig stick and I kept it and it's actually Samsung RAM which at first I didn't like Samsung but I ended up liking Samsung after a while especially because my phone is a Note 2 and um, I got a, a, a few years well with the phone so hopefully I can oh my gosh it's stuck down really hard Ram, come on out. So they make this so packaging so right. Okay, so if we could act, we could probably look at this thing a little bit before we get into details. Uh, the laptop does look a bit different from the original video I saw, particularly what I see. Hard drive seems to be in a good spot. It looks like they taped up some of this stuff so that you can't really access it um oh okay and it looks like the processor and the fan is here it's a really really small fan mm, hopefully it's enough i mean i guess it's small because of the power and hmm. the fan looks very different as well um it doesn't look like a normal fan. Let's just have a look. Okay. Oh, okay. So the fan looks a bit different. The fan, I I, I think they said it was a dust-free fan, is what they called it, and I think I see why it's 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 it. The, the spokes are not completely to the the center. It just has a few spokes. So that's kind of interesting. Um, I know that Lenovo tries to innovate, or so they say. Um. Of course, I'm seeing here. What the heck is that? I have no idea. I don't know if it's like some. It it looks like probably just an extension of antenna extension. Yep. 
most likely that but why I have no idea why because I'm sure that this is going to affect signal in some way I don't know maybe that is to extend this is the Wi-Fi card here so it's to extend the Wi-Fi out but normally there's a chassis area that um, a lot of the laptops well the bigger laptops have and they normally plug into that chassis to get you know a wider um, a wider laptop area so not quite too sure about that um, to be honest I, even though this thing has 802.11n on it which is why the wireless signals I don't get anything past 54 megabits per second so it could be based on the signal as well I'm not too certain about that but uh, nevertheless the 54 works so that's pretty much it right so you would notice here that there's two slots so that's the good thing about this laptop it comes with two uh, two slots to put RAM in and one stick um, is already in so I'm just gonna add this additional stick and then we'll probably power it on and we should be good to go the stick looks a little bit hard to go in though so oh okay no it went in right and just enough space for it to fit wow 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 okay good okay so i think we're good to go there and that should be it that's all to it uh so i guess it's so it's very easy to replace the hard drive very easy to replace ram very easy to replace the wireless module though i hope i would not have to replace it somebody did complain that the wireless module gave some trouble i'm hoping that it won't i don't know why there's an additional slot there but it seems to be expandable for some reason so that's good that is that is that, that there is space for expansion make sure this thing fits in back snugly which doesn't really seem to be but oh yeah it is it is now these screws are so small that if they eventually get way and tear and damage it's going to be really really hard to get them out okay so that's pretty much it we're gonna slide back in the battery and lock it make sure that you lock your battery in just in case you don't want your laptop to and let's give it a boot Okay, totally skip the post screen. That's one of the things that's a bit hard to get into. It's a bit hard to get into the BIOS. Alright, and we want to enter the BIOS setup. So, we go to F1. great so you could actually see here hopefully you could see here eight gigabytes has been installed so 8192 megabytes which is eight gigabytes has been installed the laptop is coming on uh so we're good to go we'll do a, a boot and that's pretty much it and we should be good to go so i hope this helped you guys in some way and i'll see you again soon